In this video, we will talk about partial function in Python. The partial function allows us to fix a certain number of arguments of a function and generate a new function. And this mechanism allows one to derive a function with x parameters to a function with fewer parameters and fixed value set for the more limited function. So this mechanism make us to create new function based on an old or say full function. So we use partial keyword to create a new function. Then we can pass with fewer arguments because we have we have fixed some arguments when creating a new function. So now we show some examples in Python. So have to have to import from function tools import partial. Then you can use partial function. Then we say we will create a normal function called f. Then three arguments x1, x2, x3. And the main part of the function is to create, create, calculate x1 times 2 plus x2 square plus x3 divided by 2. Then return this value. Create this full function. So now we can based on this full function, then create a new function called g using partial keyword. So in the partial keyword parenthesis, first is a function we want to create and based on. This is the full function. And next two arguments. This is the position arguments from this full function. So because there are two arguments here with 30 to 22, so which means x1, x2 passed passed with the value 32 and 22 when creating this new function g, right? So next we can call this function g with a passing value of 20. So since we have prefilled our function with some constant values of x and 2, and g just take a single argument so it means the value is for x3 because function g only has to take one argument now so this value is for x3 so it's quite simple the result is 558 we're creating this form with x1 32, x2, 22, and x3, 20. So, in the last example, we see the passing of values using positional order, right? So, in the next example, we will show with the key value pairs for the passing. So, first, we will create a new function called add. Also, we see arguments x1, x2, and x3. So the form is x1 times 32 plus x2 times 22 and plus x3. Then we create this new function called add part using partial keyword. And the first argument of, of course is the full function add. Then next two values passed two arguments using key value pairs so x3 is 20 x2 is 22 so this we do not need only use use the, the placement for arguments like in the first example now So since we have prefilled our function with some constant values of x3, x2 now. So 
The new function add part just take a single argument, and this time it's for x1. So we can print the result of calling add part with one past the value 32. This is used for x1. So the result is 1528. Thanks for watching.